In a tribute read by Deputy Prime Minister John Mutorwa, Mbumba described Hansei Imarwa as a distinguished servant and a diamond of the soul. And as we are forced to say goodbye to this diamond of the south, we cling on to the ray of hope, taking solace in the fact that he has lived a fulfilled life defined by tenacity, strength of character, hard work, and dedication. Comrade Katrina Hanse Imarwa will be remembered as a pivotal figure to our nation's quest for independence and a staunch devotee to the pursuit of national development and accessible education for all Namibians. Fighting back tears, Hansa Imarwa's daughter, Filani Hansa, said her mother loved unconditionally. Soft-spoken, unconditionally loving. Mama was very strict. So you don't slan. I get to think, Mary Auntie, how much you fan on me. But today we are so grateful that she instilled discipline in us. She never gave up on raising well-mannered kids. Thank you, Mama. My mom loved cleanliness. She used to say cleanliness is close to godliness. Hansi Marwa shared a close friendship with Namibia's ambassador to the U.S., Margaret Mensah Williams, who described her as a southern rose. She always stood out, one of a kind, the apple of God's eye. She was a friend and a comrade, a sister and a confidant, who had a unique ability to connect with people on a deep and personal level. She was a friend who listened with genuine interest, offered advice with compassion, and provided comfort in times of need. Speaker after speaker described how her contributions to educational reform in Namibia will stand the test of time. Gordon Joseph, NBC News, Pariental.